It's me, your sister, and I have a fabulous meal to share with you. So I know uh, you were working on your physique challenge. At least a few months ago, you were working on your physique challenge. Are you still working on your physique challenge? Nonetheless, I have a healthy meal to share with you because you should still eat healthy. Everyone should eat healthy, right? So I discovered this about a month ago. Yeah, a month ago. And it's so good. So I, uh, Green Giant has this new thing called rice veggies. So it's like vegetables that are chopped up very fine, or diced rather, they're diced to look like rice. So this one is cauliflower and sweet potato. This whole bag has four servings. Each serving is 50 calories. So I will warm this up in the microwave <clears throat> before work, or the night before, split it in half in two dishes. So 100 calories for my carbs. Not bad, and it's, it's vegetables, so it's good for you really really tasty and then what i will do because just eating this by itself is not totally flavorful sorry grain giant but i will you know like you know hook it up a little bit with some some with some sunflower oil salt and pepper there you go bam and as my protein brother i will use these johnsonville uh chicken breasts that are already cooked so i'll make my vegetables the night before split up into containers take one of these little packets to work, pop that in the microwave for 45 seconds, heat this up, and boom, I have a really healthy meal that's surprisingly, like, very filling. Like, the first time I had this, I ate it, and I was like, mmm. And usually I want something sweet. I didn't want anything sweet. And I was actually, like, stuffed. Like, that, that was dang good. <laughs> so, uh, Something else I wanted to share with you. Do you see what's in the background? Are those boxes? They're boxes because we're moving. It's like totally official. I haven't really been like overly excited just because uh, this whole home buying process was a little difficult. We had a VA loan, so that's different than a normal home buying process. And then the home, the seller was selling at the Ruby Location Company, so that was different. There was all this extra paperwork and waiting, 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 waiting. I was like, ah! So I was like, once I get the key, then I'll be super excited. And I know it's for real and legit. Well, the hubby got the keys last night. We closed officially on Friday, but he stopped by the house with the realtor to uh, take a look at, or to confirm that the things that needed to be repaired and replaced were repaired and replaced. And on the counter was a very nice letter from the seller stating, um, these are things that I wish I had known when I first moved in. So he had a list of the utility companies, uh, warranty information about the new roof, uh, where the water softener panel, like other stuff, guy stuff, or not to be sexist, uh, home ownership, maintenance type stuff, stuff that I will be responsible for. But it had it all laid out in this letter. I'm like, dang, that's really nice. So once I got confirmation of like what utilities to use because we're moving to a different city, this is a suburb of Indianapolis, but, uh, it's like, it was great to know, like, okay, I need to call this place, this place, this place. Let's get this set up. Let's get things scheduled. Let's get installation appointments planned, put it in stone. So Pride Rock is going to really happen. And I'm super excited. You know, like, I guess now as I'm talking about it to you, like, I'm getting more excited. And I hope the hubby's watching this because I apologize uh, when we found out officially on Monday that, yes, we are going to close on Friday. I had had a long day at work. I wasn't feeling well. It was a uh, month in. I was staring at a computer screen all day. My eyes were like, what? Um, I hadn't gone grocery shopping, so I needed to go pick up something for dinner. So I came home, like, inside I was, like, bubbling with excitement. But on the outside, this looked like I was dry. Like, And so I was like, whoa, I'm happy, yay! <laughs> Like, I had a fake outward happiness, but I was, like, super happy inside, so I'm super happy now. Um, also happy, I realized I am wearing some some clothing that is inspiring me or reminding me. I guess it's appropriate. It's way back Wednesday. <laughs> but I have this really cool shirt. It reminds me of one of my fabulous accounting managers, Mallory. She was super smart and wonderful, and I learned a lot of things from her. And when I got this shirt, it's like, this is totally a Mallory shirt. 
I love it. She would always like wear these flowy shirts. I'm like, that is just so chic and cute. And then I, I, I want shirts like that. But I don't want to get the shirts that she was working there too. But uh, she had to leave. Um, her husband got a job. So she had to leave the state because her husband got a job out of state. But I was like, okay, Mallory's not at the office anymore. I can get a Mallory shirt. <laughs> I got a Mallory shirt. I super love it. I got it on Amazon. It's so cute. So it's cute. And for it to be October, it is feeling like summer outside. So I was like, I need to wear something breathable. So it's like, it's really thin material. So I should be good until I get inside the building, right? Like, why is it always freezing cold in buildings in summer? Because the AC is like on Arctic blacks. Like, yes, it is hot outside. But I don't need to freeze inside. Right? Okay, um, something else, or uh, another thing that I realized as I was getting dressed this morning, I am channeling my um, most recent former manager, Tammy. She would always wear like long necklaces and she would wear the, like the billy shirts too. She would wear the shirts too. So uh, I got Mallory on my shirt, Tammy on my necklace, and my good friend Tracy that I met at one of my, oh, employers, like two, three employers ago. Uh, I learned a lot from Tracy too. I learned a lot from Tammy. I learned a lot from Tracy. And Tracy used to make jewelry. And so she made me these earrings. So I was like, okay, I am channeling like all my accounting manager influences. So shout out to Mallory, Tammy, Tracy. Yeah. And I can't forget about Dan, brother. You remember Dan. Uh, I guess I channel him or like, uh, I won't say I think about him every day. That's just like weird. But uh, you and he were very similar. He reminded me of you. So working with him was like, I'm working with my little brother every day because he was like, he was smart. I use a lot of things that he's taught me in accounting in my current role. Um, but he was just so fun to work with. And he was like, he was always picking on me, like how you would always pick on me. So shout out to Dan too. <laughs> Well, okay, I am rambling, which is what I always tend to do. I just wanted to tell you about the vegetables. And then I saw the boxes in the, in the camera as I was courting. I was like, I gotta tell them about the goodness about fried rock. And then I'm looking at my outfit. I'm like, I kind of like it. And I was like, oh yeah, this is my Mallory shirt, Tammy necklace, Tracy earrings. So, okay, I'm, I'm still doing it. I'm still rambling. So I gotta get to work. Okay.